Article 31. Transactions related to the home being the sole domicile of husband and wife. The establishment, making and termination of transactions related to the home being the sole domicile of husband and wife shall be agreed by both of them. In case the home is under the separate ownership of the husband or wife, the owner has the right to establish, make and terminate transactions related to that property but shall ensure domicile for the couple. Article 32. Transactions with third parties in good faith related to bank accounts, securities accounts and other movable assets not required by law to be registered for ownership and use. 1. In transactions with third parties in good faith, the spouse who is the holder of the bank or securities account shall be regarded as the person having the right to establish and make transactions related to that property. 2. In transactions with third parties in good faith, the spouse who is possessing a movable asset which is not required by law to be registered for ownership shall be regarded as the person having the right to establish and make transactions related to that asset in case the civil code prescribes protection of third parties in good faith. Article 33. Common Property of Husband and Wife 1. Common property of husband and wife includes property created by a spouse, incomes generated from labor, production and business activities, yields and profits arising from separate property and other lawful incomes in the marriage period, except the case prescribed in Clause 1, Article 40 of this law, property jointly inherited by or given to both, and other property agreed upon by husband and wife as common property. The land use rights obtained by a spouse after marriage shall be common property of husband and wife, unless they are separately inherited by, or given to a spouse or are obtained through transactions made with separate property. 2. Common property of husband and wife shall be under integrated common ownership and used to meet family needs and perform common obligations of husband and wife. 3. When exists no ground to prove that a property in dispute between husband and wife is his, her separate property, such property shall be regarded as common property. Article 34. Registration of Ownership and Use Rights for Common Property 1. For a common property which is required by law to be registered for ownership or use, both spouses shall be named in the ownership or use rights certificate unless otherwise agreed by the couple. 2. In case only one spouse is named in the property ownership or use right certificate, transactions related to such property must comply with Article 26 of this law. Any dispute related to that property shall be settled under Clause 3, Article 33 of this law. Article 35. Possession, Use and Disposition of Common Property 1. The possession, use and disposition of common property shall be agreed by husband and wife. 2. The disposition of the following common property shall be agreed in writing by husband and wife. A slash real estate. B slash movable assets which are required by law to be registered for ownership. C slash assets which are the major income generating source for the family. Article 36. Common property used for business activities. When husband and wife reach agreement on either spouse's use of common property for business activities, this spouse has the right to make transactions related to that common property on his, her own. This agreement shall be made in writing. Article 37. Common property obligations of husband and wife. Husband and wife have the following common property obligations. 1. Obligations arising from transactions established under their agreement, obligations to pay damages under their joint liability as prescribed by law. 2. Obligations performed by a spouse in order to meet the family's essential needs. 3. Obligations arising from the possession, use and disposition of common property. 4. Obligations arising from the use of separate property for maintaining and developing common property or for generating major incomes for the family. 5. Obligations to pay damages caused by their children as prescribed by the civil code. 6. 
other obligations as prescribed by relevant laws. Article 38. Common Property Division During the Marriage Period 1. During the marriage period, except the case prescribed in Article 42 of this law, husband and wife have the right to reach agreement on division of part or whole of common property. If they fail to reach agreement, they have the right to request a court to settle it. 2. An agreement on common property division shall be made in writing. This agreement shall be notarized at the request of husband and wife or as prescribed by law. 3. At the request of a spouse, a court shall settle the common property division according to Article 59 of this law. Article 39. Effective Time of Common Property Division During the Marriage Period 1. The effective time of a common property division shall be agreed by husband and wife and stated in the written agreement. If such time is not stated in the written agreement, it is the date of making the agreement. For divided property whose transactions must be under a certain form as prescribed by law, the common property division takes effect on the time the division agreement complies with the form prescribed by law. For common property divided by a court, the division takes effect on the legally effective date of the court's judgment or decision. Property rights and obligations between husband and wife and a third party which arise before the effective time of common property division remain legally effective, unless otherwise agreed by involved parties. Article 40. Consequences of Common Property Division During the Marriage Period When common property of husband and wife is divided, unless otherwise agreed by husband and wife, divided property and yields or profits arising from separate property of each spouse after common property division are separate property of each spouse. The undivided property portion remains common property of husband and wife. The agreement between husband and wife prescribed in Clause 1 of this article shall not change property rights and obligations previously established between them and a third party. Article 41 Termination of Effect of Common Property Division During the Marriage Period 1. After common property is divided during the marriage period, husband and wife have the right to agree to terminate the effect of such division. The form of agreement must comply with Clause 2, Article 38 of this law. 2. From the effective date of the agreement between husband and wife prescribed in Clause 1 of this article, the determination of common property and separate property of husband and wife must comply with Articles 33 and 43 of this law. Unless otherwise agreed by husband and wife, the property portion divided to the husband or wife remains his her separate property. 3. Unless otherwise agreed by the parties, property rights and obligations arising before the termination of the effect of common property division remain effective. 4. In case common property is divided during the marriage period under an effective court judgment or decision, the agreement on termination of the effect of common property division shall be recognized by the court. Article 42. Invalidated Common Property Division During the Marriage Period Common Property Division During the Marriage Period shall be invalidated when 1. It seriously harms the family's interests, or lawful rights and interests of minor children or adult children who have lost their civil act capacity or have no working capacity and no property to support themselves. 2. It aims to shirk the following obligations a slash raising and support obligations b slash damages payment obligations c slash payment obligations when declared bankrupt by a court d slash debt payment obligations d d slash tax payment obligations or other financial obligations toward the state e slash other property obligations as prescribed by this law the civil code and other relevant laws Article 43. Separate Property of Husband and Wife 1. Separate property of a spouse includes property owned by this person before marriage, property inherited by or given separately to him, her during the marriage period, property divided to him, her under Articles 38, 39 and 40 of this law, property to meet his, 
her essential needs and other property under his, her ownership as prescribed by law. 2. Property created from separate property of a husband or wife is also property of his slash her own. Yields and profits arising from separate property during the marriage period must comply with Clause 1, Article 33, and Clause 1, Article 40, of this law. Article 44. Possession, Use and Disposition of Separate Property 1. A spouse has the right to possess, use and dispose of his, her separate property, and to merge or refuse to merge separate property into common property. 2. When a spouse cannot manage his, her separate property himself, herself and does not authorize another person to manage it, the other spouse has the right to manage such property. The property management must ensure benefits for the property owner. 3. Each spouse's separate property obligations shall be performed with his, her separate property. 4. When yields or profits from separate property of a spouse constitute the family's sole livelihood, the disposition of such property is subject to the other spouse's consent. Article 45. Separate Property Obligations of Husband and Wife A spouse has the following separate property obligations. 1. The obligations he or she has before marriage. 2. The obligations arising from the possession use and disposition of his, her separate property, other than the obligations arising from the preservation, maintenance and repair of his, her separate property under Clause 4, Article 44 or Clause 4, Article 37 of this law. 3. The obligations arising from transactions established and made by himself, herself not for meeting the family's needs. 4. The obligations arising from his, her illegal acts.